I know, you've been deprived of Poppy for so long that it's looking like the Atacama Desert between your legs. But I'm back, listen to my voice, and enjoy your loins being restored to maximum lubrication levels. Ooh, Poppy! Silence, wench. I've been gone so long that Jad's gotten comfy. Now, at this point, Jad has started a whole new life in my absence, right? It's like he got put in the witness protection program and, you know, he's found a girlfriend. And he's gotten himself a couple of little mijos, or chiquitos. Whatever cute little endearing name he and his girl call their kids. A couple of old chips off the block, you know? And good old Jad, right? He's become a blue collar, nine to five worker at the local pet store, you know, to hang low. Just make an honest living. And you tell little Betsy, this time, you're out of the game for real. You left it behind. You're starting fresher than a baby's ass. So beautiful. He's walking off into the sunset. Eh, wrong. Gosh, I went really guttural for that. But it sounded bad though, right? Like I sounded like a, a bad bitch. Who is Jad? I am Paco. I sell the goldfish. Listen here, Paco. I know you're Jad. And listen here, Jad. I bought a new barbecue today. It's called these fists. And I'm gonna cook you on them. <laughs> oh, settle down there, Goose. Now at this point, I understand this series has become all about killing this pile of expired kidney beans from the discount aisle because, listen, as, as much as it pains me to say it, this is yet another prep episode before killing him. I mean, do you guys understand how much time Time and mental preparation goes into killing Chad. No, no, you do not. Because you've never accomplished something this big in your life before. But that's okay. That's okay. It's okay. After I'm done with him, you're going to be so motivated that there's going to be as many Elon Musks in this world as there is views on this video. So it'll be about... Maybe two to three Elon Musks on top of the, the original one. We got Mars. It's going to be looking down at all these people on Earth, making spacecrafts, realizing, Oh no, they're going to abuse me more than they abused Sasha Gray. Now you're going to make the point that I could just release the next video after I kill Chad. But in Sun Tzu's The Art of War, Sun says, If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. If you know yourself, but not the enemy, for every victory gained, you will also suffer my feet. What? Okay. Hold up, there's gotta be, there's gotta be a typo right there. Now, of course, I have no idea what the f*** this means, but it sounded deep. And I also wanted to deflect from the fact that I haven't uploaded in 10 years. I pretty much didn't want you guys to wait around for another six months for an episode. And we still made fat XP gains in this video, so we're, we're doing this thing. Now, this is episode 9.75, because like I said, episode 10 has to be a special episode. The episode where I killed the beta cuck lord Jad, aka RuneScape's Jab of the Hut, aka Bad Bastard from Austin Powers. But also, it's the first episode for 2022, and because I haven't uploaded in so long, you can argue the series is starting from scratch. And even furthermore, I'm going to put episode 1 in the title, because it's just a little more clickbaity. Like, do you think Goose is pulling $100 million deals with 50 views on a video? Are you kidding me? What the f***? I mean, we all know I'm doing this YouTube thing for the money. Come on. If you don't know what this series is all about, let me tell you. Some bards might say it's about me asserting my indomitable will over the game of RuneScape that might make you question why you even bother playing with those sad XP games. But those who have actually passed level 3 will probably more see it as I have no idea what I'm doing. And I'm somehow trying to make it to level 2277 despite that. Now, I've been playing this game here and there over the past 16 or 17 years, and I'd only spent my time leveling everything in the most basic ways possible. So I'm learning as I go. Do I use the Wikipedia at all? No. Only if I get stuck for a ridiculous amount of time. Or to find out what I need for a quest. So, in in short, yes, I, I use the wiki, but not for long. I take little I take little dips. Like like I'm Achilles and I'm I'm being dipped into a lake. The lake being the, the Wikipedia, but instead of being dipped so only my head is exposed, I'm dipped so the only immortal part of me is like like half my forehead. I, I hope that makes sense, because I don't know any other way to explain it. Now we're jumping dick first into the sexually riveting action. Now in my return to RuneScape, it was straight to business. We don't have time to Waste. I start with some parkour, obviously. Gotta stretch the glutes, gotta stretch the hammies, shake off the rust. But this time it's not just about working out this Chris Hemsworth-esque body. I'm actually on my way to start a quest. Horror from the deep. Now why am I doing this? Because I've been told archery is the meta for beating Jad. Now I have no idea what the frick that means. And I could look it up, but I'm using dial-up internet right now because the wife bought the entire Zara catalog, so I simply do not want to spend 453 hours minimum waiting for the search to load. But, but my people are telling me completing this quest is the fastest way to gain archery experience with the cannon. Okay, hold up. We gotta talk about this. Boys, I'm telling you right now, this may look like just another clothing store, right? You know, Zara, Zellers, you can maybe even get them confused like that. I mean, they both start with Z, right? And hey, I, I love Zellers, okay? I mean, Zellers is great. 
Sora, it's not Zellers. Once your girl gives you the little, <laughs> I'm just quickly gonna pop in. Just try a couple things on. If she goes into that store, just run. Leave her behind. Natural Selection's got it from here. And under no circumstances do you look back. She'll be doing the puppy dog eyes. I know you're gonna see that. You're gonna go running back. You're weak. We all are. I get it. I get it. It's okay. Don't worry about it. I'm just the same way. And now look at me. I'm stuck with her. I'm married. And my credit card's getting a train run on it every weekend. So like, I don't give a shit if she does that weird thing you like in bed. Leave her behind. Trust me. It ain't worth it. These women, dude. And they say, I just don't understand why it's necessary for you to pay monthly fee for game. I don't know why that's the voice I used for a female when she gets angry, but we will put an edit over that so it sounds a lot more feminine. And here's the edit for that. I just don't understand why it's necessary for you to pay monthly fee for game. And I'm like, honey, $15 doesn't even buy you a button on the sleeve of the shirt you're trying to buy. I mean, what are you talking about right now? No, but I really do love my wife. Baby, if you're watching this, I totally- I love you, babe. I love- I love you so much. I talked to this chick, Larissa, and she she is incredibly needy. Lucky for me, I'm equipped to deal with needy women. Yes, I still talk to Matt. What I was not equipped for was this quest. Larissa played the damsel in distress card and I was happy to oblige. Something about that pippy long stocking farmer girl hair got me going. There was talk of wood, a key, entering a hole, and a whole lot of nailing. Oh, behave, Larissa. I'm a married man. I went to get all the equipment I needed for the quest, wearing practically nothing but still kidding. Think about it. Think about it. Let it resonate. Let it sit. You're not getting it? Just because my dick is huge. <laughs> I made my way over to Gunjord, who was supposed to give me the lighthouse key. And what else is new? Goose hit a snafu. To access Gunjord's fort, I have to hit like 30 pubs all across Kyle and War. And you're like, oh, a pub crawl. I've done that before. No, you haven't. You need friends for that. And if you've got friends, are you sure you're taking runes? seriously enough? I mean, sex is great, but have you ever strength scaped? I mean, look at this thing! Oh, it's so good. Oh, right there, daddy. I start this pub crawl by making money instead of losing it. Passive income, boys. It's just business 101. Never mind. It turns out my passive income wasn't enough because it's not just gas prices that hit inflation. Apparently, beer has it too. And my dick. Oh, gosh. It's still so good. Oh. One beer down, and the bar crawl has officially begun. Good thing I'm not Matt because this is where the bar crawl also would have ended. <laughs> In college, Matt probably rushed a fraternity and got into a sorority, I'm just saying. <laughs> So I start flying through these beers, one bar after another, my stats dropping hard. But don't you worry, little Jed, because I'm still going to be popping off like a machine gun in your mommy's room tonight, okay? <laughs> I am 99, right? I shit you not, all pubs, 20 minutes. Don't skip leg day, boys. You can do some incredible things with a couple of BBLs. Big bulky legs. BLGs. Big long getaway stickies. I don't, I don't know. I mean, it does help that I practically have three legs, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I head back to Barbarian Village. The bouncer stopped me at the gate. He says I look a little too inebriated to get into the club. I get up a little close to him. I say the code words and he lets me in. <laughs> this guy gets it. This guy fucks. I grab the key from Gunjorn and go straight back to the lighthouse. No, I don't. I, I blow right past it. Okay, I totally forgot what I'm doing here. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm fixing a bridge. Why? why? I don't know. I don't know. I just literally like a one foot hole. Just, just jump over it, you jackass. Oh my gosh. I have to go all the way around to fix the other side. What the fuck even is the other side? Where the fuck? I, I have to go all the way around. When it's one single foot away. I mean, I'm right here. Come on. I mean, just let me take the step over, huh? I mean, like, how, how do you how do you even get to this? I don't, I don't even know what it is. I don't know. I don't know. It's fucking... I mean, like, you know, how do you get there, right? Like, <laughs> like what? My 280 IQ tells me to settle the fuck down. And so I do. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, I do. Oui. I'm settled down, baby. After some Percy Fawcett level map navigating, I find the route I gotta take. And, oh boy, it's a long one. Oh, and Goose likes that. <laughs> I pull out a rusty syringe and pack it full of anabolics. I'm talking trend HGH, which means human growth hormone for those uneducated betas out there who aren't dosing up every day. <laughs> Ah, that's the shit. What's next? What else do I gotta take? We've got a little bit of SARMs in there. Quaaludes. Oh, so many quaaludes. And just a little, just a little sprinkle of rabies. Just, just a little smidge. I take the syringe and I insert it right between my ass cheeks. And I squeeze the precious juice out. That's the sound it's making in there as it gets squeezed and uh, my prostate is stimulated. I run faster than a Japanese bullet train. A shin gun scene, cause you can't see shit. Now this is real time gameplay, not fake gameplay. I literally ran this fast in the game zone. I build the bridge and make my way back to the lighthouse. And at this point, my mouth is foaming. I might be ODing on the PEDs, do I care? No, 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 no. I suck the foam right back into my mouth. Can't waste any of this precious performance enhancement. <laughs> I get to this lighthouse apparatus and have no idea what to do. I start freaking out and searching everything. 
It got so bad that I searched a bookcase. I mean, the last thing I read was a Playboy in August of 1994. <laughs> Good old Paula Barbieri was grace at the cover back then. <laughs> what a time to be alive. That also happened to be the same year I was born. Didn't really care to graduate from picture books after that, you know? <laughs> Turns out this bookcase was exactly where I needed to go. But joke's on me. I can't even read. I'm not kidding. I did not graduate from picture books. <laughs> I mean, did you not hear my Playboy story? I just wanted to see some naked ass titties. <laughs> I've, I've done a lot of growing spiritually and mentally since then. I take this book to Larissa, maybe she can read. But it turns out she can't either, huh? <laughs> a fellow degenerate, I see. <laughs> oh, you dirty girl. Oh. Oh, no, she she apparently never had even heard Playboy, so. Just, I guess the moral of this is never trust a blonde. Speaking of blondes, I promised my wife a new Louis Vuitton purse for Christmas if she reads this manual and figures out what to do, so I do not have to. So, we use the swamp tar first. <laughs> Obviously. Then the tinder box. Oh, yeah, this one right here. Then the molten glass. Maybe sure you read that right. Oh! Yeah, we did it! I did it! She helps me. So I begin looking up where to buy a fake Louis Vuitton purse. Now I gotta go find Yas Joss. Jasik. Larissa's boy toy. I go downstairs and come across a strange wall. Call me Tom, because I'm about to solve another riddle. <laughs> <laughs> joke on, joke on. Yeah, that was a shitty fucking joke. Matt probably laughed. That's how you know you made bad jokes when Matt laughs. Hey, good joke, brother. Bob's your uncle, dude. Uh -huh. That's Matt. That's that's literally what I can picture Matt saying that to me right now as I made as I made that joke. I start doing some big brain shit. I begin thinking everyone's plotting against me, the wiki included. Of course I figure out the puzzle again, this time within seconds. But what added to those seconds is I had no idea what to do after I solved the riddle. Turns out you gotta enter on the right side of this wall, so I, I make my way down. Take notes, noob. Bobby Goose will get you through these quests in no time. I find Yosik, Yosik, dude. What? The fucking guy's name, dude. And he's freaking out. He's freaking out because apparently the monster from Stranger Things is hiding in the water over there. Solved it. Solved it. Wait, what the fuck? Now, what I'm curious about is how long have Jossick and this thing just been waiting here in these positions? Like, this monster is obviously using this guy as bait or something. So the monster probably bucked him on the leg when he came down here. And told him, like, hey, hey there, kiddo. You, you sit right there and you, you, you shut up. You just shut up. And when someone comes by, you say, these lines, you say these lines. And like, obviously, at this point, he's like emotional because, like, why would you even like kidnap somebody unless you're, you know, pretty unhappy with your life, dude? Like, he's probably got like a whole family situation or something, right? So he's like emotional right now. So, anyways, yeah, he was like, and then I'll pop out of, I'll pop out of the water. And we'll bow. We're gonna make such a good team, and you're, you're gonna sit there and love every moment of it. And then he, and then he like skitters back off into the water. Anyways, I kill this guy. I kill him with my bare hands and wearing a thong. You think they call me Big Dick Bob for no reason? This kill triggers the first cutscene ever made in the history of mankind. I hope, because it's really fucking bad. This guy's changing colors. He's going green, yellow, purple, orange. So many colors. What could it mean? What could it mean? Gotta put my brain into overdrive here and figure it out. What could these colors mean? Arrows are effective against green. My dong, effective against the ladies. My whip, also effective against certain types of ladies who have very specific kinks, but more importantly, effective against the boss when he turns orange. And like everyone else I meet, this boss drops to his knees for me. <laughs> I cannot be making those kind of jokes anymore. I am married. Quest complete, let the grinding begin. Grab my cannon, grab my balls. Ugh. Grab my sharks, grab my teleports. Ugh. Double. Ugh. Parkour, go down a ladder. Motherfucking. Ugh. Cannon engaged. <laughs> 75 range blowpipe, get in my belly! Jag will die now. Oh no, it's getting nerfed. Jagax <gasps> gotta stop me, however, they can, right? <laughs> and it'll probably work too. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna get a hold of yourself. Duh. Yeah, okay, you're right. Uh, why'd you hit me again? Because you like being slapped. You find it kinky. How do you know these things? Because I'm you, you. <gasps> Oh shit, here we go. Oh my gosh. Ah oh, shit. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is, boys. Oh shit. Yo, hit the subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit the comment button. Wait, wait. <laughs> Doesn't even matter, boys. Let's get fucking lady up in here. Yup, yup.